Hello everyone and welcome back to my tutorial. Today we will create some messing form. We not will use any parameterized things, we not will use any adaptive uh, tools and we not will use even Dynamo. We will create it like in SketchUp, just mess and forms. And right now you can see how it looks like in the Lumen for example, this is look like pretty awesome. But before I will start, I want to ask you to join my Dynamo course on the Udemy. By this course you will understand how you can create for example the plan with only Dynamo without anything in Revit. So you will do everything from the zero to the end in Dynamo. So join my course. So let's get started. And now we will create the new new family. We will use as always conceptual mess. Let's use the conceptual mess. Let's open up it. So here is my conceptual mess. Let's use it. Now we are inside our conceptual mess. And as you can see, we have only two the working clients. As you can see, working planes. One working plane, you will see it here, the reference plane, and the second one. So we need create like few more. So I will go to the first level. It will be more better to place it. And now I will go now to the reference plane and let's uh, let's put our reference plane. One reference plane and second reference plane. So now we uh, now two it will be enough because now I want to show you how it's working. As you can see, here is my reference plane. As you can see, it's <laughs> a bit flying somewhere, but it doesn't matter because uh, our reference plane actually placing uh, on the same side as that one. As you can see, the one's the same side. Okay, so what we're gonna do now? Now we will uh, draw our profile. Let's draw our profile. Before you will start to draw your profile, you should set your working plane. Yes, that's why we're creating this working plane. Let's set the working plane. I will set first this working plane. As you can see, one, two, three. Let's call it working plane one. Now I will select as the working plane, well, this working plane, working plane one. If you want to see this, which working plane right now it's working, just click on the show and you will see which the working plane you will using right now. Now let's go to the, the right view and we will draw our profile. So draw our profile, I recommend you using the firstly model line and after that we will change it. So here is the, my model line, as you can see here is my working plane and I can start to draw. So let's draw it, let's draw some simple uh, form, I will do like this something. You can use dimension if you want, you can use whatever you want uh, to make your profile more better. So this is only up to you. Let's say I'll make like this and here for example I will do the curve maybe, maybe I will do the curve. No, it's impossible to do that. I will use the fillet, fill it with the radius 1 meter. Uh, actually, it's too small. Let's make it a bit bigger. I will do it like 2 meter. Oh, I say 2 meter. Okay, and the second one will be also 2 meter. Okay, and I will leave like that. As you can see, here is my first profile. Let's select now the second profile. The same, uh, same uh, the stage you should do. Set working plane, set the second working plane. Now you can see the now working my second working plane. And if you don't want to just redraw it, you can copy it and just change something. How you can copy? Just go to the re, uh, to the model line and find here the pick line and just click on your previous line. Choose the choose the tab key and now you will select all the chain as you can see all the chain and select it. As you can see, it was copied on our working plane, but we choose the from the first working plane. How it works? Actually, it's pretty simple. When you will starting draw, let's let's all draw. When you still starting draw uh, something on this working plane, here's our working plane. But for example, you choosing some line from the outside, it will be copied here on your existing working plane. So. The same, uh, the same thing will be on that, the working plane number three. We will draw something here and it automatically will trans uh, transfer to the other one. 
So I think you get the theory now and we can continue. But I don't want to live like that. I want to change something. So because it's not interesting, it will be the same uh, same figure, but I want to change something. How we can do that? Let's I will uh, draw something like, um, let's I'll draw here the one line, let's say, like this. Um, I will do um, maybe uh, let's make some something interesting. You can do whatever you want. I just uh, trying to make something interesting. Uh, now I will use the fillet. Let's use the fillet. So it's not working like that. Uh, with the my fillet radius one meter. Oh yeah, and I'll change to three meter. Yeah, it will be a bit better. No, it cannot change. Let's leave it one meter. So it's not bad. Just be careful when you're deleting. Just select only one thing. If you want to delete and again one meter here okay we did it something like that as you can see and now let's choose the uh, last working plane let's sell it set the last working plane as you can see and now again I will transfer my geometry there just go to the model use the pick the line and choose the previous uh, the previous the lines just use the tab key to transfer everything as you can see you can see now the dash line dash line it means where you will be your new uh, new profile let's select it and as you can see here is my new profile and let's say I'll make it uh, a bit smaller I will use the move key and I will use something like that and as you can see it's a bit changed the uh, size let's make change the size also size also here i want making like a bit higher like that now what you're gonna do select one profile control select second profile control and select last profile and create the form here's your form as you can see Okay, this is simple. Let's I will use Ctrl Z. I will show you one thing one thing more now. Uh, let's select all our profiles and let's create the form. As you can see, I cannot see now my profiles because our profiles is gone. But what if you want to change your profile? You're not able to change it right now because your profile is gone. As you can see now, it's part of our geometry. Yes, of course, you can uh, select it, you can move it, but it's not so useful because you cannot see it, uh, what you can do. You can, for example, select your profile and transfer it to the reference line. Once you will transfer it to reference line, let's say I will select all profiles again and I will create the my form. You will see always your profile and you can um, place something on your profile. So if you want to place it, making more combined forms, so use uh, some of that reference line. For example now it's reference line and now I can use this reference line like the working plane and place it something on that so simple as that uh, what else you can do for example once you will select your profile you can move it let's move it once you will move it of course your shape will move too as you can see uh, also if you will change for example dimension of your profile let's say I will say change dimension of my profile maybe a bit a bit I will do the smaller place to my profile it's here let's I'll use the control Z I will back and I will change profile here for example place to my profile mm -hmm. and let's make it a bit different I want to use now just model line and let's change our position of the line Maybe we will even change the line. Let's change the line. Uh, yes, again, if I will draw now my uh, new line, I, as you can see, uh, working plane, it's now I'm using the different working plane. So before I will start to draw, I should use this working plane. So now I can start to draw it and I can do something like that. Select one line, select all these lines and that line and create the form. As you can see, we created the form. You don't need any special things to do that. As you can see, you can create really interesting forms. Uh, you can go even higher, you can make the hole here and we will do it right now. If you want to create the hole inside, for example, or if you want to combine the forms like uh, extruding and subtracting, so you should use uh, this way, I will show you. Let's go Ctrl Z. Uh, we have three profiles. 
first I will uh, I will create now the offset okay uh, let's make offset of 250 millimeters and don't forget copy it again set your working plane use the tab key and we did offset as you can see uh, 250 it's actually it's too small let's make 550 so it will be better 550 enter and yeah this is better again set your working plane set where you want to put your profile uh, for example if you are using here uh, as I'm using here is my reference line here just model line you will get something like that better use one of them for example first use the model line and after that you can convert to the uh, any type of the format as you want. So now I'm using the one same type and as you can see it's automatically connect. So again set working plane, here is my working plane, use the tab key and as you can see we get. So why I did that? I will now select internal profiles and I will create the void form. As you can see here is my void form. After that I will select external pro profiles and I will create just a form. Now I will go to the cut and I will cut one from the other one. And as you can see, we get even inside, you, you can see it's uh, the some, something like a hole. And this is cool shape actually. And this line have only two points. As you can see, one point is here, one point is here. And all these points trying to connect to the nearest point, as you can see, to the nearest point like this like this and that's why it's now here because most of these points the nearest point that one and other one is just following it if we will split this line like this all these lines will be automatically connect to the split point so this is what we will do right now ctrl z let's split it just split the line one two three four enough select one profile and second one and connect as you can see we get this now it's much better so let's connect now our our first profile second one and last one and let's create the form and we get this form let's say Zaha Hadid why not <laughs> the same situation as you can see now we get here on the top side because the our form trying to connect on this rule as you as I as I said before but also you have the other solution so let's I'll use ctrl Z again ctrl Z ctrl Z so let's go back you have other solution you can create the other shape so I will connect this shape now here is my shape and I will reset view and I will cut it from one form to the other form we can create the other shape so let's go to the right view. So is my working plane? Aha, uh -huh, it's here. And we can create here, for example, uh, something interesting shapes as as I want before. Maybe something like that. Maybe maybe let's I will do like that. Here will be one big something like that. Let's connect it. It should be closed. Okay. And now I will. I will do sa same thing on the last one. Let's set working plane, last working plane. I will use now again pick the line and let's pick the line for the sh that shape. As you can see we should change the position of that. So let's I will change it. Let's say I want to create something like that and maybe a bit smaller. And I can delete now this shape because I don't need it anymore. And let's make one more line from this point to this point. So select uh, this profile. If you cannot see anything, you can hide everything what you don't need right now. And select that profile and create the form. As you can see, we get the form. If you want to combine this form, use the join one and second one. And as you can see, now it's like one shape. So you can combine as many as you want. So we get the shape like that. Even we can make the some holes if you want. For example, I will do like this. 
and let's uh, select now our profile. Now we should change the our profile for that one, or you should create the new one. I will use that one. It's okay for me. And let's make some cycle here. Let's create the form. I want to create this form and let's explore ex extrude it from the one side. Use the top key and to the other side. And as you can see, this is solid now, but we can change what type of this uh, type of this um, shape. Just select the shape and change from the solid to the void. Now we get the hole, as you can see. We can create other one here. Let's create other one. As you can see, one by one, we can create really interesting forms uh, without any special skills, because uh, actually we not even using the parametric things. We're not using the adaptive family. We're just using the standard Revit fam uh, families uh, without anything. And we can create the void form. Let's create the void form. Let's extrude it inside. And as you can see, it's not extruding everything. Why? Because we need to use the cut. Use the cut from one to the other one. I said one. Let's again this shape from this shape. Okay, and we get the cut, as you can see. Pretty awesome, right? By this way, you can create everything what you want. So just select it, extrude it, put inside your project and use it in your projects. Maybe if you want to render, you can export it like FBX. So I think you will find it uh, really useful because here no, you don't need any special skills. You don't need using parameterized things. You don't need using Dynamo. You don't need using some adaptive families. You don't need to understand how working adaptive families, for example. You just using it like a SketchUp, extruding, ex explode it, and that's it. So as simple as that. So thank you for watching and see you next time.